Many people love to have pets. They are very much interested in spending time with their pets. People have good bonding with their pets. So in this video we are going to discuss the journey of a dog who was a wild animal and how he transformed himself from wild animal to a pet animal. A chapter from class 6 English NCRT How the dog found himself a master. Hello everyone, you are watching the tutor. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, make sure to subscribe it so that whenever I upload a new video, you are notified. Now let's begin with the chapter. You may know that the dog and the wolf are closely related. You may also know something about how over the centuries human beings have domesticated and tamed wild animals. Here is a story about how the dog became a tame animal. Okay, so in this chapter what we are going to see? We are going to see the journey of a dog that how he got transformed from a wild animal to a pet animal. Okay, tame, tame means pet pet animal who can be trained how the dog found himself a master this is the title of the chapter which means that dog uh, was in search of a master and how he found a master that we are going to see in this chapter okay now let's begin dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering about by himself in uh, looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he okay so see wild animals they live in forest and pet animals they live in city and also some people they keep them in their home yes so dogs dogs were also a wild animal long time before even dogs were a wild animals and they used to live in forest like other animals they used to hunt they used to uh, catch other animals and eat them and they were their own master okay wild animals don't have master they roam in jungle and whatever they uh, want to eat they catch that animal and they eat they don't follow the command of anyone. So they are wild animal and they are free to roam in forest. So dogs were also wild animals and they were in forest. But once upon a time a dog was born who was very sick, uh, pleased, ill pleased means unhappy. Who was very unhappy by his life. Means he was weak and he was tired of roaming here and there for food in forest. Wandering means to roam here and there. And he was also frightened. Frightened means scared. He was also scared of those who were stronger than he. In forest we have many wild animals like elephant, uh, tiger, leopard, lions. So they are ferocious animals. Lion and tigers, they are ferocious animals and they are dangerous. So dog in front of uh, those wild animals, he felt like he is unsafe and he was scared. So he wanted to have a master who could guide him, who could keep him with uh, him. Okay. So he was searching his master. He thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth and he set out to find such a master. So because he was uh, tired and he was fed up of the way he was living a life in forest, he was unhappy. So he thought and he decided, he made a firm decision that now I am going to search a master who could uh, keep me with him. I will obey him. I will be loyal towards him. But I want a master who could take care of me. And my master should be the strongest one in the earth. Now, what quality he wants in his master? That he wants his master to be very strong so that he could keep this dog with him. So now he is searching his master. He walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce. Okay, so now he was searching his master. So he was walking in the forest and he found a danger 
or you can say a wild animal okay wild or danger kinsman means wild or danger danger animal he found he was a wolf wolf means bhedia wolf uh, and he was strong and also he was dangerous fierce means dangerous he was also dangerous where are you going dog the wolf asked now the wolf he asked the dog that where are you going now the dog dog replies i am looking for someone to take up service with would you like to be my master wolf so the dog replied that i am searching my master i am searching any master he could be animal or human anyone it could be but he want a master so that he can feel safe i don't see why not the wolf said and this agreed upon the two of them went on together now the wolf said okay why i can't be your master i can be your master so let's uh, so let me be your master and you be my servant so here the agreement was made now now the dog found his master who was his master wolf till here wolf was his master then let us see what happens they walked and they walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose sniffed darted quickly off the path and into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest the dog was much surprised now the wolf became the master of dog now both of them were happily walking together in the forest then all of a sudden what happened the wolf he lifted his nose means he started smelling some uh, he got some smell i think so he was sniffing he was smelling and he quickly moved into the bushes bushes means small grasses that we have in forest small grasses that is bushes darted means to move okay darted means to move so when he smelled something he uh, he moved to he moved into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest crept means to hide to hide he hid himself in the forest the dog was much surprised what's come over you master he asked what has frightened you so can't you see there is a bear out there and he might eat up both of us you and me now the dog was surprised and he asked that why you are uh, hiding uh, behind the bushes why you are so frightened so the wolf said can't you see the bear he is standing there if he see us he will bo- he will eat both of us so this shows that wolf is weaker than whom wolf is weaker than bear seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf the dog decided to take up service with him and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master the bear agreed to this readily and said let us go and find a herd of cows i'll kill a cow and then we can both eat our, our fill okay so when dog saw that wolf is afraid of bear uh, he left uh, him in the forest okay he left him in the forest and he said that you don't be my master now because you are afraid of uh, uh, you are afraid of bear how can you be stronger how can you look after me when you yourself uh, are afraid so he went to the bear and said that can uh, will you be my master so bear he agreed to his uh, words and now both of them they became friends and now who is the master of dog now wolf is uh, sorry not wolf now bear bear is the master of dog what did the bear say to dog he said that let's go and kill a cow and then we can eat cow herd of cow means group of cow many cows they walked on and soon saw a herd of cows but just as they were about to come up to it they were stopped by a terrible noise the cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all direction so when the bear and dog they were moving towards the herd of cows to kill and eat them they heard a terrible noise means very bad noise they heard the cows were mooing the sound the cows make are known as mooing okay so they were uh, making loud noise and they were running in panic panic means uh, they were scared 
frightened scare and frightened it means panic okay so the cows were panicked they were scared and they were making loud noise and they were running from that place the bear looked out from behind a tree and then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest when bear this bear when he saw that why the cows are running he also got scared now bear also got scared and he uh, ran to hide into the forest hastily means hurriedly very fast hurriedly okay now what the bear saw let us see now why did i have to come here said he to the dog it is the lion who rules the forest in these parts the lion who is he don't you know he is the strongest beast on earth now the bear was also scared of lion he saw the lion and he was scared now so now the dog is saying that then why i should make you my master when you are scared of lion this means that you are not strongest animal uh, you can't be my master so our friendship uh, let us uh, finish our friendship here and uh, let lion be my master beast means a uh, wild animal okay beast means wild animal dangerous animal who has four legs well then i'll say goodbye to you bear i want a master who is stronger than any one on earth now this dog he is searching a master who is strongest of all on earth so first he found wolf he was scared of bear then bear was scared of lion so now the dog has made a uh, lion as his master okay so now who is the master of uh, dog lion and of the dog went to ask the lion to be his master the lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long long time it was a good life and he had nothing to complain of for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion and no one dared touch the dog or offend him in any way now a uh, lion became the master of dog they lived happily for long long time in for years they were together a uh, dog was loyal towards lion and lion was also happy to be the master of dog no one uh, dared means uh, no one was willing to touch the dog no other animal uh, was willing to touch the dog or offend him offend means to to chase or to tease or you can say to harm to harm dog okay so no one had the courage to uh, trouble the dog because he had a strong master with him he had a lion as a master so nobody came near dog and they both of them they lived very happily for years and years but one day the two of them were walking side by side along a path that ran amid bare cliffs where all of a sudden the lion stopped he gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw with such force that a hole formed there then he began to back away very quietly now for many years both of them were living together they were happy in their company but suddenly what happened one day when both of them were walking lion uh, he saw something and he stopped himself he was walking he stopped himself and he angrily made a um, uh, see paw means hand hand of a uh, lion okay paw means hand of the lion he was angry he stopped himself and he forced uh on uh, he forcefully pressed his hand on the ground and a hole was made under the hand of lion what he saw he began to back away then he uh, started to move backwards so what he saw what is it master is anything wrong asked the dog in surprise now dog was surprised why the lion is doing uh, such um, action i smell a man coming this way the lion said we had better run for it or we'll be in trouble now the lion is saying that i can smell a human being coming towards me if he see us he will hunt us he will uh, he will harm us uh, okay so let's uh, move from here or else we will be killed
Oh well, then I'll say goodbye to you, lion. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. Now the dog is saying that you are afraid of human being. You are afraid of man. You are running from him. Then how can you be my master? So he is saying goodbye to lion. And off the dog went to join the man, and he stayed with him and served him faithfully. This happened long, long ago. But to this day, the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master. Okay. And finally, dog went to the man and said that I want to be your servant. You be my master. Man accepted him. He agreed that yes, I will be your master. You be my faithful servant. So from that day onwards, dog became pet animal, and um, and dogs they are brought from the jungles now, and they are in cities and villages everywhere. You can see dog here. Okay, why? Because before they were wild animals, but now they don't uh, stay in forest. They are uh, they stay with man. They have become pet animals, and they are very loyal towards their master. Until now, man is the master of dog. So here our chapter ends. Okay, I hope you have understood this chapter. It's all about the journey of a dog, how he transformed himself from a wild animal to a pet animal. He got many animals um, to be his master, but he was not happy. Uh, first, wolf was his master. Then, bear was his master. Then, um, then, lion was his master. Then, finally, a man came in his life, and he became his master. Now, he is happy with him, and both of them live together. Okay, so I hope you have understood the chapter. Very soon, I'll be bringing the question answers of this chapter. So if you haven't subscribed the channel yet make sure to subscribe it